Hi guys, this is Just with a quick message before we get started. Right now, I'm offering a two question reading. All you have to do is click the link below. No hassle, no fuss. Click that link, make your quick payment, and immediately you'll be scheduled for your reading. And that's it. If you're interested, you know what to do. Click that link below. Yeah, and we'll set something up real soon. Otherwise, on with your reading. Take care, guys. Hi, Taurus. This is Just with your January mid-month 2018 tarot reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So, Taurus, some of you are definitely taking that Capricorn energy and you use utilizing it in the best way possible you're staying on top of things it seems like because you've been working really hard staying on top of things and being very hopeful about where you're going in life it looks like money has increased for some of you so congratulations and it seems like you guys overall have a lot more control and clarity and being far more practical and logical about um, life in general and that's past energy so kudos for some of you that can relate to that it looks like right now got a lot of you guys have either travel or a move on your mind and if that is the case then obviously you are uh, taking stock and inventory of costs you know moving costs travel costs that sort of thing do you go someplace that you already been do you try someplace new do you you know tread down new territory or you know um, stick to the peaks and valleys that you're used to, right? Um, and it and you you're feeling really good right now. It seems like some of you um, are kind of cashing in. So there could be this again newfound um, situation that you're in. It could be a new job. It could be, and some of you are traveling. Some of you are literally moving because you're starting a new job at a career that you really love or a job that pays far more money than it than it has before new opportunities it seems like there has been quite a bit of them um, and it left you feeling a bit unsure which ones is, is the best which one will yield me the most success and security and finances and all that stuff but it seems that it could have been the past three months where you were three weeks for some of you where you were quite confused even three days for others of you uh, but the past for the last two weeks, two days, uh, and even two months for some of you with this moving back and forth, conversing and interviewing and that sort of thing and, and you know, checking out the, the area, the neighborhood, all of that stuff, you become far more keen and comfortable with this move and this new way of being in life. And it seems like some of you guys know that this is the best thing for you is to embark on this new journey and this new move. Some of you are doing it with immense vigor. And so congratulations. It looks really good for you guys coming into 2018 January. And I know um, the the mini well, it wasn't a mini, basically. It was like a look into 2018 for you guys. Looked amazing. You guys had amazing, amazing spread. So this is continuing that echo of that um, sentiment. Now, I do see that with this particular move, some of you will get a lot of help. Someone is there, maybe two people, a younger person, could be two younger people there to help you, aid you in this move. If you need a little bit of extra money, which you guys don't seem to be hurting for money, but someone's there to, to help in that way too. And again, I just get an overall sense of having to um, take care of things and you're doing it with vigor, with, with, um, a lot of energy and purpose, but then being able to kind of let go. Some of you are actually going to be there for others. So you may have a, a little bit more money to play with than, than normal. And so you can kind of offer, you know, finances to someone in need, that sort of thing, be there for someone else that's in crisis, that sort of thing. I don't feel like it's anything for, if it, that is a relatable topic for some of you, it's a very small percentage of you. But for most of you, this is just a beneficial thing that you're embarking on and you're receiving help, aid, um, from others. Others. Now, it looks like with finances, well, like I said, it looks amazing. It, it looks like whatever this new thing, it could, if it's a new business model and you were confused before, now either you've met someone, you've uh, you've partnered with a company, um, you've aligned yourself or you've made a move that again, with this new move, this new project, this new uh, strategy, this new part of extending your business uh, again it's just the energy has shifted where it's now very um, beneficial for you 
Uh, so that's really great. And Capricorn, again, that energy is not a bad one for you guys. And to have so much of it is so beneficial in a lot of very concrete sort of ways. So your, your feet is well planted on the ground and you guys are just really uh, moving forward in a, in a great sort of way. So congratulations with that. Now, as it relates to love, if you guys, some of you have been not in the best mental space, because I do feel like there has been a point where a lot was on your plate, maybe having to disconnect from people, situations. Uh, again, you guys are in that ripe, in that prime place in your life right now where you're ready to do that. Family, may, that family energy may be really good for you guys. Um, again, that offer could come by way of anything in your life, but some type of new offer could have been a bit stressful for you, uh, making this big change. Cause you know, with that comes a whole nother, you know, comes a big, huge change. Um, but again, with that embracing, and that's the advice to embrace it, you know, um, to take it as what it is, which is a great opportunity, uh, will only yield you more dividends happiness all of that stuff uh, now as it relates to love i feel like some of you you stayed in a relationship or you've been really trying your best to to be very hopeful to be supportive to be there uh with this relationship right uh and i feel that it could be some of you could be the older person in a relationship or others of you could, you could be the younger person and they could be a significant a gap in the relationship for some of you others of you you could be the same age but there's just a distinction where someone's the mature individual and the other person is kind of going through trial and error in their life at least it seems to be at this point uh but i feel like there's like some of you are dealing with a disconnect in your relationship someone is dealing with some problematic situations uh, and there's this having to take stock again, stock inventory, where are we at with this relationship? Should I now consider being completely single at this time? Uh, there may even be talks of like someone's moving away. It could be, you could be the other person. And this is, this isn't something that could be avoided. You know, it has to happen. It's almost like it's faded. Like, okay, either it's faded to you guys are fated to be together and therefore someone's now moving with each other or it's fated that you're going to be apart and someone and it has to happen so there is no and if the offer comes to you because some of you will receive offers of like move in with me you know marry me be with me you know some form of a commitment there it will be very scary uh because some of you may be taking on a whole family it's not, it's not that you know your significant other but they have kids and they have a whole family that's with them uh, so it may be very scary to, to find your footing in all of that um but love will win <laughs> love will win in in the end and I see that person coming for you, coming to take you home with them or coming to move in with you. Um, so there could be for some of you that have been single or have been living alone, that's no more. Others of you, um, I feel that if you're disconnecting from that person, in reality, it may not feel great, obviously, to have a breakup. But it's something that eventually, for those of you that's dealing with like a breakup and this has happened, so you and your mate probably already broke up or there's already been like a trial and error period where you guys, that person was already on a thin string. You know, they were already hanging on by a string. And so when they decided to kind of disconnect or you did, whomever did, you almost got back into the groove. You know, there was already people kind of interested in being with you and dating and that sort of thing and, and if some of you have decided to get your feet wet uh then it looks like there was a lot of opportunities out there and some of you could have ha very quickly uh connected with a individual and you may feel like a lot of this is happening so much like you could have met someone and it's like oh my goodness this person's like punch drunk in love with this person right and this person will be th throwing it on pretty quick with the you know the love and the affection and all of that stuff to where someone may say okay let's pull back a little bit let's try just being friends and getting to know each other before we go a little too far but for some of you it will be in vain because it's almost again there's a fadedness here it's like a destined thing for some of you right now where it's it has to go at this speed or it has to go like we went we went on a date 
Then, you know, we talked for 50 hours. Then, you know, next, you know, we moved in together or, you know, next, you know, I moved where he was at or, you know, it's just things happening that is not a typical tourist, you know, movement, but it feels right. This is all I can say. And so for me, it, it's coming off very like it's a destined sort of thing happening here. Uh, so with that, um, the advice is to kind of let go and I feel like it's just just be organic with it I'm not telling you what to do but clearly you know you should be as organic as possible and I feel like some of you literally have very strong feelings um, and some of you could be waiting for your mate to kind of let go and give in to this relationship and just be others of you you're the one that's letting go and just allowing yourself to love and just be but I do see a lot of travel especially if this person is at a distance from you I do see a lot of back and forth traveling loving one another a lot of love and affirmations happening between you and your mate and for some of you who've been having problematic situations with your mate there's an opportunity especially when it didn't seem like things would work out seems like things are really working out and um, letting go and giving into those moments of love intimacy and affection will only bode better for the relationship that at one point may have seemed to be you know on a downward spiral so that's what i have for you guys for your remaining two weeks of january i hope that this has been helpful for you if it has and if you would like to leave me a message below please do so please do so in the comment section below you know i love to hear from you especially for any of those tourists out there that can relate to this if you'd like to share i would love to hear because it's nice to see some people with just good good energy and you guys have been kind of going through it earlier in 2017 so it's nice to see that some changes are being made and some people are at least falling in love and having a good love life uh so leave that in the comment section below and if you would like a personal reading with me i can be reached in the beginning and end to this video as well as the description box below and if you're new to this channel welcome 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 so i was gonna say sub sub surprise instead of sub subscribe but also congratulations if you can relate to this particular video uh and subscribe because i will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Taurus.